For celebrating today uh, was truly Lance's vision, and he's going to lay out for us kind of where we've come from, and um, and then throughout the, the, the hour we'll hear a lot about um, different perspectives of what we've achieved uh, and where we're going in the in the coming months. So, Lance. Good morning, everyone. Um, first off, I want to say congratulations to the Duquesne Dukes. <laughs> I'm sorry about your brackets for anybody out there. Um, no, honestly, thanks everybody for coming, everybody for showing up. We appreciate it. Uh, it's an exciting time right now for, for Beaver County. They asked me if I would uh, take a few moments just to give you guys all an idea of what the vision was, what the idea was, how it started, and kind of what got us to this point. Um, I brought some cards so that I don't drag on like I typically do. My commissioners know that very well so I'll try to stay on task um, it was around 2019 uh, early 2019 we started uh, in the planning department we started an infrastructure study we wanted to um, get a better idea and map out uh, water gas sewer telecommunications and I uh, got Michael Baker with us to go in and start uh, doing that work and it didn't take too long. Um, actually, pretty quickly, we realized that broadband was something that if we wanted to have a, a big economic development impact and we really wanted to help our residents, that uh, broadband was something that we wanted to look at. And it wasn't something that I don't, I don't feel a lot of people were looking at at the time. So for us, uh, we were kind of going out on a limb. We were realizing that if we we're going to go and do this, we were going to be blazing a path. Um, and that's kind of what we like to do. So we went for it and I went in and, and talked with the commissioners, tried to explain to them my thought, my vision, and my ideas of what we have, what we needed to do. And uh, I think I was gonna have to explain things uh, quite a bit, but they were all in, they were ready to go. Gave us um, some funding to engage Michael Baker uh, more thoroughly, just to take a look at 
broadband itself and uh, what do we have where do we have it um, I didn't know a lot about it to be quite honest with you so um, the next step was going back to Michael Baker and say I just want to connect every single home that's not connected with high-speed internet and I need everybody in the county uh, expecting once again maybe to get laughed at a little bit um, but I didn't they uh, they jumped right on board they were ready to go and um, they had some expertise in this area already so it was a really good match we started use, utilizing the FCC maps which uh, were best way to say it is inherently flawed a bit um, and we used those maps to try to identify um, some areas of need we uh, besides uh, besides using the maps they were able to map out for me also every single internet service provider that we had they did something for the county um, there was more there than than I expected um, during this time we applied for some grants um, we had a pretty good idea of what we wanted to do and how we wanted to do it. We applied for some grants and we were thinking we were gonna have to nickel and dime this thing. Uh, $200,000 here, maybe get a $400,000 grant there and take 10, 15 years, whatever it may take to try and get everybody connected. Um, we didn't get those grants. I think part of it was, I don't know that as a, even as a nation, as a county or as a state, as a nation, that they were ready to start looking at broadband the way that we as a county felt um, we needed to. Right around that time, the pandemic hit. So as things are shutting down, Michael Baker and the county are working, uh, doing a lot of work, um, going through the planning, identifying locations, doing everything that we could possibly do so that when the pandemic was over, we were ready to go out and um, and see what we needed to do to try to connect every single every single person in the county. When the pandemic was over, we had a really really good plan. Uh, we knew what we what we needed to do. We knew how to go about doing it. We also knew it was going to cost quite a lot of money. Um, so I was uh, a little nervous, to say the least, to go in and talk to the commissioners and give them an idea of how, exactly how much we thought it was going to cost. And I wasn't exactly sure where the funding was going to come from. Then comes American Rescue Plan funding. County got a nice share of that. I walk in once again to the commissioners with a close to $20 million ask. Um, really thinking I'm going to have to sit there, uh, me talking, it's going to be at least an hour because I generally don't shut up when I talk to them. Uh, but then having to explain for another hour, an hour and a half, why this is so necessary. I think it took about five minutes. Uh, after I explained the plan that we had and how we wanted to go and attack stuff, uh, the commissioners once again were completely on board with the full ask and said, let's go do this. Let's go do this for this county. Let's go do this for our, for our residents. So we were at a point at that particular time that we were ready to put boots on the ground. So Michael Baker went out, they put boots on the ground, visited over a thousand homes, took pictures, uh, tested, did all this stuff. Once again, we're still utilizing FCC maps, but in essence, what we're doing is creating our own map, a map that we know that we can count on, a map that um, puts out exactly what homes have that are considered unserved, which ones are considered underserved, and during that process, we also strategically placed two early action projects throughout the county, uh, which is why we're here today. This is the milestone that, that we're, um, we're celebrating today. And when I say strategically placed, like Michael Baker did an unbelievably good job of trying to figure out where we could put these um, early action projects as they relate to other funding. Uh, we had some issues that we couldn't <clears throat> use federal funding on top of some federal funding. Uh, rural digital opportunity fund areas, RDOF areas. So we were able to put some, put a location uh, really close to a, an RDOF area to see if we could encourage um, some more work to be done on areas that we didn't even have control of uh, funding. Um, 
there's, there's a lot of folks here that are going to be able to go and talk. Um, I don't want to steal their thunder about the work that's done. Those two, two early action projects were with Kinetic and Armstrong. And um, once they have a chance to talk, we'll, I'm going to talk a little bit later about how unbelievable they have been to work with. Um, but I want to let, let them come up and tell their story instead of me trying to tell their story for them. Uh, the there's there's representatives here. There's elected officials here. Um, this is the last thing I'm going to say before we start to go into some of the other stuff. Uh, and I try to like once again high level this. There was so much work done by Michael Baker and uh, and the county. And when I talk about elected officials, uh, I'm really blunt. So sometimes this isn't the best thing to have me in front of a microphone. <laughs> um, there's a lot of times where you'll find elected officials at something like this for a photo op. But I'm here to tell you that these elected officials are not here for that today. They have been essential to every step of everything that's gone on. Um, uh, geez, how many times, commissioners, have I been in your office, um, once again, ad nauseum, explaining what's going on, what I need, this is what's happening, and every single time I've got support. I mean, every single time. It's been phenomenal. Um, our state reps, I mean, Representative Marshall and Gail, and Representative Massey is not here today. He couldn't make it. Um, but you guys have been phenomenal. I've called you, <laughs> I don't know, 100 times? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it always answers the phone, always has a, uh, has a way to, to help me out, uh, no matter what it is. They've been phenomenal through it. I wanted to make sure I just reiterated that fact that it's, this isn't a photo op. They're, they're here because they have been a part of all this. I get to stand up here and really pretend like I'm important, but at the end of the day, without Michael Baker, without my commissioners, without your elected officials, like none of this happens. Uh, I'm just kind of the conduit that tries to help uh, push this thing along. Uh, so with that, Katie? Sure. Thank you, Lance. <laughs> You know, that's wonderful, and um, we also have, um, uh, you know, representatives of all the engaged uh, internet service providers here. Uh, Lou Galati with the community, uh, the Corporation for Economic Development, of which this uh, this issue is very important to companies um, that uh, he and his organization uh, attract here. And we have Molly Sewer here from the Beaver County Chamber of Commerce. So thank you again for uh, for those uh, participants. And one other person I'd like to um, point out. Um, this is a sample you hear more about the uh, some of the residents testimonials but James it's great to have you here in person as well as uh, your earlier comment to the project um, so I'm going to now turn um, the microphone over to our uh, commissioners um, first uh, Commissioner Camp would like to say a few words thank you uh, good morning everyone thank you all for being here um, as, as Lance said you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna use a quote real quick because I think it's important. Uh, you know, Steve Jobs always said it doesn't make sense to hire smart people to tell them what to do. We hire smart people to tell us what to do. And as, I know Lance is giving us the credit for what we made decisions to do, but without Lance and his department's foresight, this would have never came to fruition. So, Lance, thank you for the hard work you do. Thank you for always making us look good, and thank you for always making Beaver County look good. As Lance said, like all of our counties across the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, we found ourselves with a large sum of money from the American Rescue Plan. Our Board of Commissioners, Commissioner Tony and Madame, Commissioner Jack Manning, along with myself, chose because of Lance asked to allocate more than 20% of our $92 million towards this project. We set out to have a direct and lasting benefit to the people of Beaver County while addressing a key economic development issue. Now, we got a lot of gripe from many of our residents uh, whenever we made this announcement that this is only servicing a couple thousand households. But we knew it was important to continue to grow our economic development here in Beaver County. We had to make sure that we were able to provide the infrastructure to do so. The county's funding, along with the matching funding from our ISP partners, is finally making that a reality. The timing for the availability for new service comes and is only tied to the funding. You will hear about our deadline for the new service, and we plan to achieve that by the end of 2026, because we are required by law 
to spend our ARP dollars by that time. And we are confident, along with our partners, that we will hold them accountable to making and reaching that goal. So Lance, to our partners, Michael Baker, to Armstrong, to Connect, we thank you for everything you do, and we thank you for making Beaver County a, a future site for economic development. Thank you. Commissioner Jack Manning. Thanks, Katie. Thanks, all of you. Um, to build upon Dan's remarks, I, I have some prepared remarks because usually I say, I need to talk to Lance for five minutes, and they know they won't see me for at least 50 uh, coming back. So I'm going to stick to the script uh, today, today, Lance. But um, uh, as past several years of public and statewide political support uh, have demonstrated, we have never had a less controversial, less more positive and consequential initiative on the quality of life of our residents and their families than Connect Beaver County. Uh, I am proud to have played a small part of this team effort under the strong leadership of Chairman Dan Camp and brilliant guidance of Director Lance Grable, who has assembled an awesome collaboration and excellent partnerships with Baker Engineering, the ISPs represented here today, as well as Planning and Redevelopment staff and the Beaver County Planning Commission, who is also here to the chair of that. Uh, Tony's Rosa Tony sitting in the back there as well. Uh, my thanks and appreciation to everyone who is diligently working to make Connect Beaver County a reality, especially those behind the scenes in our law department, our controller's office, our financial manager, Corey Troutman, uh, our ARP fund administrator, uh, Brian Crucial, uh, the Department of Public Works, Emergency Management Services, our chief clerk, Nikki Long, uh, administrative assistant, Brittany Colangelo, my former assistant, Cindy Cook and my current assistant, Echo Funk. Uh, this has been a significant and impactful undertaking, considering that 45% of our municipalities have some gap in underserved high speed connectivity. Uh, this investment in our future will continue to pay strong dividends to every resident and in the growth of Beaver County. Thank you. Uh, the, the third's the charm, right, <laughs> Commissioner Mike. Thank you. Uh, I thought I was going to thank Tony and the Planning Commission, but there's nobody left for me to thank. Seeing that uh, Dan and Jack just about thanked everyone. Uh, I'm entering my fifth decade in government. I've seen a lot of things come and go. I saw a lot of things change. One of the things I'm still not completely understanding, and that's how the internet works. But I know it's expensive, um, very, very expensive. I, I can go back 40 years ago, and I remember when the new thing on the block was cable television. And they were running the lines, and companies were fighting to find out who was going to get your community, who was going to run the lines in your community. And that was followed by optic, uh, when we put the optic lines in, which was the precursor, in the middle of the county uh, for uh, the internet service. Uh, I was also a teacher, and towards the end of my tenure, before I came here, we were transitioning into using the internet full force in schools. But it was, like I said, a precursor reform. My time when I came here, I still don't completely understand how the computers work and how they talk. All I know is our community needs them. And when, when Lance proposed to us uh, to redo the county, to try to get the internet throughout the county, I was proud that our entire board was, was there to do it. There's been so many changes in uh, the past 40 years. Changes in education, public safety, healthcare, energy, transportation, government, and economic development. We can't even send a letter of reference to Harrisburg or to Washington without the internet. So we have it here. So I understand how important it really is to us. That's why I'm so about, very proud to be part of it. But we have to take care of our students in schools, for example. Just because you live in the outlying area, um, when, when I taught, for example, you had, we had books. 
So everybody could take their books home. Now the schools give everybody computers. So if you live in the middle of the county where all the population is, you can do your homework anytime. Especially during COVID is when we really realized the problem that we actually had. And it's not fair to those families to have to go sit in front of Panera's or go to a restaurant to get the internet service somewhere in the middle of the county. So this is perfect for us to do for all our people in Beaver County. And that's what I'm most proud of. Thank you. Great to see that, that unanimity. Um, so we have a strong county leadership, um, but we're also incredibly blessed um, with the, the state delegation of which um, I will start by asking Senator Vogel to come say a few words, especially in his role as chair of the Pennsylvania Senate Agricultural and Rural Affairs Committee. Thank you, Katie, and thank you everyone for being here this morning. Obviously, thank you for inviting me to be here. Uh, it's, it's important. It's a great day for the county, obviously, because uh, these two projects are finally getting done. And as you can read on these boards here on the side, it's important to the individuals that it impacted. And like Katie said, being chair of the Ag Committee, obviously it's important to the farmers across the county, but also across the state. I mean, farming now isn't just milking cows and plowing a field anymore. There's robots and there's computers and the internet. You have to have the internet that order parts for your equipment and uh, robotic feeders, robotic milkers, all those kind of things all need access to the internet to be able to operate anymore. And so to keep our, our agricultural community strong and vibrant here in Pennsylvania is important. So I was glad when we got $100 million or whatever we got from the government. And uh, Senator Phillips Hill's done a great job with her committee pushing the money out and having hearings in the state to get the money pushed out across the state and being able to find other organizations and people that we don't have to reinvent the wheel to use use towers that somebody else has. Don't have to spend the money to build another tower when the state police have a tower, 911 has a tower or something, be able to use those same towers and save the money to put it in where it's needed to get the internet to, to people. So I want to thank you all very much for be, have, being here today and thank you for inviting me and congratulations on getting the couple projects done. Look forward to finishing up the rest of them. So thank you guys very much. <laughs> And another leader in uh, in the General Assembly from uh, Beaver County, Representative uh, Josh Kale. Thank you. Uh, a lot's been said that's that's accurate. Uh, in my role in the House uh, Republican Caucus, I, I get to travel a lot, and when I travel. I also get to listen to audiobooks a lot. It's actually one of the benefits of traveling. And, and throughout my travels and my audiobooks, I listen to one on, on Lyndon Johnson. And that's relevant because Lyndon Johnson got his political career at the rural electrification projects that were done during the 1930s. And, and listening to that portion of his life, it became clear to me that there's a lot of similarities between what they were doing then and what we're trying to accomplish now. Now, maybe electricity isn't as important or is more important than broadband, but not much anymore. And it was obvious that the areas that were successful in those projects were the ones that could work together. They're the areas where people focused on what was best for the community. And then there were other areas where money got squandered because people are working for their own self-interest. You know, one of the things that I come to appreciate about Beaver County, the elected officials, the people at the county, the people working in county government and local officials as well, is when it comes down to it, we work together. We work together to get the job done for our residents. And I, I have to say, and I don't mean to embarrass them by calling them out in particular, uh, the leadership that Chairman Marshall showed on, on these issues, on rural broadband issues, just to sum it up, projects like these don't happen without leadership like yours. And, and that is a fact, and Beaver County ought to be very proud of the leadership that Chairman Marshall has showed to get jobs like this done. I... It's true. We have, we have a little bit of a confused uh, concept of what leadership is today. They talk about emotional leaders in the NFL and people that yell and bark and beat their chest.
But leadership stick, get your head down and getting the job done. And Jim Marshall for a long time has led that way for Beaver County. And, and this is just one of many results that, that, that he has brought. And he will be sorely missed uh, in the House of Representatives as he is retiring. Uh, he is retiring this year. So Elder mentioned about the, Senator Vogel, excuse me, mentioned about the, the agriculture community uh, and his leadership in the Senate has been wonderful on that and on these issues. Uh, Commissioner Amadeo mentioned about uh, education, but the Department of Energy actually in 2019 noted that there's a possibility of upwards of 200,000 manufacturing jobs in this region, Western Pennsylvania, Eastern Ohio, and the Panhandle of West Virginia. One of the five initiatives that they put forth for states is get rural broadband. Get rural broadband because manufacturers need it as well. So it's good for jobs, it's good for education. Thank you, Danny, uh, Commissioner Camp, uh, Chairman Camp, excuse me. <laughs> Lance, thank you guys for the leadership that you've shown on behalf of uh, the residents of the 15th Legislative District. And very apropos, um, we're going to have a representative. Marshall, who's agreed to, to step in, um, say a few additional words and a uh, great time for it. Thank you so much. Thanks, Katie. And thank you all for being here. Typically, when I come up and speak on any topic in Beaver County, I have Rob Matsey next to me. Unfortunately, he couldn't be here to get today. But I can say that uh, we work together as a team. We both serve Beaver County. We're both co-chairs of Consumer Protection, Utilities, and Technology Committee. We both work together to get rural broadband legislation passed last session, and also worked on 5G legislation that Lance Grable came to Harrisburg and was instrumental in drafting the language to that. He is a true leader on technology and broadband, and we're blessed to have him. I'm grateful to continue to work with Rob. I uh, wish he could be here today for this because he's actually a, a member of the uh, broadband authority that was created by the language that we passed last year. He's doing a great job with that. And uh, there's so much more yet to do. I'm looking forward to that. Thank you for the commissioners for entrusting Lance, for investing in this important issue, for Darlington, and Beaver Falls and Hanover and the entire county, we have true leadership here, and I'm grateful to be part of that. Even have the opportunity to sit down with Lance and help create the logo behind me. So thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. So up to date, we've covered a lot of great information on this project. Uh, a couple additional items I would like to cover, um, specifically focusing in on the early action projects that have happened within Beaver County. Um, Michael Baker is extremely honored to be partnered with Beaver County with the roots, you know, um, here in Beaver County. This is one of the largest infrastructure issues of our time. And we're actually, being a, being a part of this is, is rewarding for us. Actually seeing Beaver County, Lance's vision, the commissioner's vision, as well as the representation, actually implementing something that is valuable and actually tangible to residents within Beaver County. Michael Baker has got to witness the complexities of you know using these funding opportunities and the, um, the, the appropriations of the projects correctly. Um, one example that Commissioner Camp touched on was the RDOF projects. Um, Lance was able to bring the RDOF projects as well as the early action projects together so they can be incorporated because one of the issues with RDOF was the funds were pushed, the data, um, the projects could wait till 2026, but Lance didn't want to wait. So Windstream or Connect by Windstream stepped up to the plate, and I want to bring up. Jeannie Shearer here. She's going to say a couple words. Oh, 
So thank you all for joining us today. Um, we're here to celebrate and to announce, obviously, something very exciting, an exciting development here in Beaver County because we're connecting more homes and businesses to broadband. I'm Jeannie Shearer, the Vice President of State Government Affairs for Kinetic, and I'm extremely proud to be here today. Um, you know, broadband is what we do, and we're very proud of serving rural markets, and the projects that we've done here in Beaver County are in rural markets. And these are our testimonials over here, and I was thrilled to see them up there because I get to talk to our customers a lot, and it gives you goosebumps. When you're in this industry, you have your senior leadership team that's supporting this wholeheartedly, and you see the testimonials, it's a feel-good story. I want to recognize some of um, the other Kinetic team that's here today. Um, Jeff Souter is our Director of Operations, and um, Jean Lingle is our Local Manager of Operations. Our senior leadership team is focused on quality and the best customer experience. I can come up here and speak for the company. It's their teams that are an integral part to delivering that, and so they get all the credit. So, Kinetic has been serving the communications needs um, in our service territory for over 100 years. It all started with landline telephones. Commissioner, <laughs> you mentioned, you know, the old days, right? We've been here a long time. And now our customers, <laughs> now our customers can count on Kinetic for the deployment of future-proof fiber optics technology that's meeting the growing reliance of our customers on digital communications. Fiber infrastructure specifically, it's unmatched reliability, it has proportional bandwidth, and it, what's important too is it easily scales to the growing needs. We're not stopping here. The federal programs today, they used to fund four megabits, then they went to 25, then they went to 100, and we're talking about gigabit service today for a reason. Gigabit service, we're gonna outlive that as well. So Kinetic is here to commend the Beaver County Commissioners for the critical work that they are doing to close the digital divide here in Beaver County and to ensure that Beaver County is connected. I personally also wanna thank, in addition to the commissioners, Lance. Um, Lance and the Beaver County Planning and Redevelopment Authority, as well as Michael Baker International, they have been phenomenal to work with. And we thank them for trusting Kinetic to trust us as a partner to help with this important, this important initiative. So where is Kinetic in Beaver County? We serve approximately 1,900 locations in northwestern Beaver County. Again, rural areas. And we proudly serve rural areas. In 2020, we all think about the pandemic, we didn't have gigabit service available. And I am proud to say now, as a part of a multi-state um, $2 billion campaign of Kinetic, Strategic Capital Plan, the Federal Rural Digital Opportunity Fund program, we call it RDOF for the stumbling reasons that come with describing that program, and this public-private partnership. We went from 0% in 2020 to 62% of our customers in our footprint are able to get gigabit service, symmetrical upload and download speeds, and that's phenomenal. The fiber technology, the symmetrical, symmetrical upload and download speeds, it's transforming the way we live, work, and play. It means seamless video conferencing, it means instantaneous file sharing, and it means virtually lag-free gaming. So for those of you that like to game, great. For the parents trying to do screen, screen time with their kids, I apologize. <laughs> you know, um, we're delivering phenomenal gaming experiences. So, every project is getting us closer to ubiquitous broadband access. And at Kinetic, and I can't remember who said it, better together, that's one of our mottos. So partnerships like those facilitated by the Beaver County Broadband Program are critical to reaching the otherwise locations that would be too expensive to serve on our own. So they are helping to close the digital divide here in Beaver County to our partnership. Our partnership in Beaver County on the Early Action Project, we were able to extend our network an additional 11 miles. So we already had a substantial fiber network. Michael Baker and the um, planning development, you know, they recognized we had the ground started, what could we do more? So we were able to extend that an additional 11 miles. 
And that brought to the doorstep <coughs> this fiber infrastructure to an additional 139 homes and businesses. We didn't have a plan to serve them near term. So this, what you know, I don't know when our crews would have come back to Beaver County. This brought 139 customers the technology they depend on. And as mentioned previously, the RDOF program. Kinetic agreed to pull ahead several RDOF projects. So we were originally committed for year end 2028. When I talk to customers and I say, hey, good news, we have a project. It's coming in 2028. You see the bloom deflate. And so we're extremely proud to have been able to pull together or pull forward um, approximately five years, these RDOF projects. So in total, with the completion of the early action project and our escalation of these select RDOF projects, 250, and I haven't even shared that with you guys yet, we did a calculation, 250 customers that would not have had broadband service for we, who knows how long now have it today. So this, I believe, is a great example of working together and being better together. So I'll close with, we are extremely grateful to be here today and to be a partner with the county. Together, we will bridge the digital divide, empower individuals, and drive economic growth here in Beaver County. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie. Those, those uh, numbers are great to hear. Those extra numbers, we appreciate that. <laughs> so thank you to Kinetic for all their amazing work. So um, um, for the other early ash project, I'd like to introduce Joe Taylor. Um, Armstrong really stepped up to the plate as well in these early action projects and got you know additional homes, um, the availability of broadband internet. But not only, you know, this this is a great day for Joe. Um, you know, Joe's, I want to congratulate Joe on a fabulous career. He is retiring this year. Um, but not only have I had the pleasure of working with Joe, I've actually had the pleasure of working for Joe. And, you know, nothing but great things about this man. And Joe, could you please come up and say a few words? <clears throat> well, thank you for that introduction. Uh, you know, we're, we're here to celebrate the completion of these uh, these two early action projects. I think back to April 10th of, uh, of last year, we were all out there on that grass runway. We had our, our hard hats and our uh, vests on and, you know, we kind of kicked off the project. And, uh, you know, it's nice it's nice when you can kick it off and then come back around and, uh, and, and see it to completion. Uh, I want to uh, recognize a couple of people I had from Armstrong with me today. Uh, Seth Prentice, who is our community marketing manager, and uh, Jeremy Jurek, uh, who's with us as well. He was also at that uh, at, uh, opportunity uh, back on April 10th, although in somewhat different color. But uh, we're, we're certainly happy to have, uh, have Jeremy on board as well. <clears throat> you know, this is uh, an example of how, you know, in, in Lance, Lance started, Lance and I have done a couple road shows together. So. Uh, this is the first time I met Lance was when this project kicked off and as somebody mentioned he is persistent you know <laughs> numerous phone calls and who's this guy and what, what are we trying to do but I, I can tell you this that uh, I believe that you know Beaver County is on the forefront of, of figuring out how to get broadband done and you know the, the leadership we have at the state level as well as the, uh, the commissioners here in the county and, and, and Lance in the partnership with Michael Baker really helped to make that happen. And uh, we're just very pleased and proud that we could, uh, you know, play a small part in this. Uh, you know, we've been invested in uh, in Beaver County for uh, over 50 years now. We continue to uh, look forward to the, uh, you know, the opportunities for growth in the county and to, to participate that in that as well. You know, Joe mentioned that he worked for me in the past. That's, that's true. It's been a few years ago. And uh, he's right. I am. Uh, on my way out uh, in April, I'm gonna uh, retire, but uh, uh, I, I heard a little bit earlier that somebody has been in the in government for for 50 years. I'm not gonna quite make the 50 years, well, the, the, the public side anyhow. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna quite make 50 years, but uh, you know, the, the, uh, 
the changes that have occurred uh, in, the, in my career and in the business that I'm in, and the changes that have happened here in, in Beaver County are, are just, uh, you know, uh, I see some parallels and I see some, uh, I see some planning uh, and, and the forethought that the county uses to, to make sure that you do the right things in the county. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll just end on one note. We're proud. We, we, you know, we struck an agreement to do the early action project. And uh, unlike some projects that I've been involved with in the past, we actually come in about 12% under budget. So uh, we're happy to, to return that to <laughs> and, uh, Thank you, Joe. Um, so one thing Joe touched on that I just want to touch on. So at Michael Baker, we have the ability, not only, we're, we're working, you know, for different states. We're working, you know, and we get to see trends across the country as well as state level. And, and Beaver County is by far way ahead of the curve, not only locally, not only within the state, not within the tri-state area, how nationally. You know, and it's just, it's amazing, you know, the progress that they're making in this broadband initiative. Um, one other gentleman I would like to bring up, Bill Carnahan with Verizon. Um, they are actually in process of building out um, roughly 1,900 homes within Beaver County. Uh, good morning. Uh, first of all, this has to be the best smelling press conference room I've ever been in. <laughs> you smell the donuts here. Um, I, I had a professor one time said, be, be brief, be brilliant, and be done. So I'll be brief and I'll be done. Whether I'm brilliant or not, that's up to you. Uh, I would like to uh, acknowledge and appreciate a couple of the smart people at Verizon that are here. Uh, we have Nick Biondi and Ken Eccles, who are part of our staff for wireline network operations. So they're really the brains behind this. I'm just a pretty face. Um, <laughs> as I was driving up, I live in Moon Township now. So it was a quick ride for me this morning. It was great. Uh, and, and as I was coming up here, I kept thinking about my own career as you were talking about retiring here. Many, many years ago, I started my first job at Verizon was at the Rochester building right here at Bell Atlantic, right? Uh, in fact, the HR person when I finished college said to me, uh, we're gonna send you to Rochester to a management training program. Um, I said, New York? Because I was from Indiana, but I had no idea where Rochester Beaver County was. Well, I soon learned. Uh, in fact, I lived at 169 College Avenue in Beaver, Pennsylvania. I think it was apartment D. Uh, is, is where I live. Uh, and in fact, I'm the first Mrs. Carnahan, and no, first Mrs. Carnahan, uh, I proposed to at the gazebo here in Beaver Town, uh, right across the, the, the courtyard here. Um, that didn't sour me on my commitment to Beaver County, uh, even though it didn't end as I had wanted it to. Um, so, and then looking at Beaver County here from a Verizon perspective, uh, we really are committed to the county, and, that, and the reason for that being is the engagement and the enrollment of people like Lance. I mean, Lance and Michael Baker reached out to us early on and said, hey, we want to know what facilities you have, what are your plans? Uh, every time we gave an answer, it was why, dig deeper, uh, so they were a great partner, and then really the fruition and the uh, partnership that we've created here uh, is very appreciative. Uh, as far as what we're going to do, we're at the early stage here in Beaver County. I think we have laid approximately 90 miles, is that what it is, Nick? Uh, and we're estimated that we're going to lay about 375 miles of fiber across Beaver County. So if you just think relative to Pennsylvania, it's what, 307 miles wide? So from here to Philadelphia, and maybe back to Lancaster. So that's a, that's, that's a pretty good chunk of uh, fiber that we're going to place here over the next year in Beaver County. We're going to serve approximately 1,800 uh, 1,883, I think, to be exact, um, un and underserved. So that's going to be a great change here in Beaver County uh, in bringing that to the, to the podium here. Uh, I think roughly, Nick, you could correct me, but with that build of our network and how we build it, we're looking at an additional 4,000, uh, what we call pull-throughs. So there'll be an additional 4,000 households that will benefit from our network uh, as we build it across here in Beaver County. And then lastly, I think we're going to open up services Roughly around the end of the year, I think will be the first time we'll be opening up uh, for sale uh, for the underserved and internet services here in Beaver County. So with that said, I'd like to thank Lance, County Commissioners, the legislators for all your leadership uh, and partnering with us and making that happen. So thank you very much.
right, I'm back. Uh, that's pretty overwhelming. Um, it's just, it's pretty overwhelming to think about uh, the work that's gone into uh, why we're here today and what's why we're going to be here a year from now or whenever it is to, to celebrate those 1,886, maybe, um, being connected. Um, I've been a pain in the butt to the ISPs. When I, they said persistent, which was really nice. Um, I've asked and called and talked, um, strong armed, I think you said you, a little, little bit. Um, we really knew what, what we wanted. Um, we had the data because of the phenomenal work uh, of Michael Baker. I wasn't expecting to have partners that were so easy to deal with and so ready to go and get stuff done. As we're going through the early action projects, anytime I made a call, and, and I mean this, within an hour at the most, we got a call back. Say, yes, we got this, we're on top of this. Kinetic, and it's been the same way with Verizon, the same thing with, with, with Armstrong. I mean, immediately. Um, in government, sometimes I'm not used to that. Uh, I'm used to making a call in another hour, and then if that doesn't work every 15 minutes, being persistent. Um, there have been, you guys have just been phenomenal, phenomenal to work with. It's, it's, it's been incredible just to, to see that. And I have this passion for this county and for this project. And to see that same passion in Kinetic and Armstrong and Verizon was unexpected, but absolutely welcome. Thank you. Um, we have, as was mentioned, we do have some comments from the residents. Once again, this stuff gives me chills. Uh, we, we've received some calls and some emails and stuff that, that are going on and going around. That is, once again, I'd love to take credit for it. It's hard work by our internet service providers going out and doing everything that they can and, and beyond. Like that's the amazing part. It's not just these small pieces that we've asked for. It could be 200. We've just learned that it's much more than 200 because of their dedication. Um, James Fiesel, thank you so much for being here. Where I came from. There you are. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Please, somebody, if you have a chance, talk to him. Um, it warms my heart to, to, to know that you're here. And um, the last thing I want to say is good government. I've said this before, but what I believe that good government is, you know, you have a, a, a peon in government like myself. I'm going out and I, I, think, I think I know what we should do. Um, I talk to some residents. I feel like they're, they believe that's what we should do also. I get an awesome consulting group and Michael Baker to come and start working with us. And, and I wanted to point out Jeremy Jurek, he's with Armstrong now, but he was with Michael Baker early on. He was absolutely instrumental to allow me to think that this, really, let's just go with this. Um, and then I take it to my planning commission, another level of government, and I tell them about it. And once again, it's, this is pre-pandemic. This isn't something that everybody's doing. And they're like, yep, go for it. We believe in it, go for it. Uh, and then we take it to the next level and go to the commissioners and they say, go for it. And then you have our, we have our legislators that are saying, go for it. We have the governor come down, I forget when it was, but come down into Beaver Falls to say, Beaver County is leading the way. Um, so you start at the lowest level and work, it works itself up and there's this collaboration and this willingness to do what, what needs to be done to make something happen and come to fruition. And that's exactly what's happening here today. So I'm humbled by it, and I appreciate you all. Thank you so very much. Wow, really impressive. Um, we have a few minutes for uh, questions um, from either the media or anybody in the room that would like to pose uh, a broad-based or a specific question to one of our um, participants here today. Any questions? All right, I'm going once. 
going twice. <laughs> um, well, thank you very much. What we're going to do next um, is outside where we were going to hold we we're, we're going to host this um, a little chilly today, but we are still going to do some pictures outside. So I would ask if the speakers, um, you know, could uh, could assemble outside for some photos. Megan uh, Rogers will be uh, leading that effort, and thank you all. What a what a wonderful uh, project to be a part of. You gotta try one of these. Commissioner, very nice to meet you. I Thank you for the